Hi, welcome back to our channel. Neon Tech. This is the second part of our video of how to create a video. By script on Pictory. Today in this video, we are going to continue our learning about how to create a video. On Pictory by script. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have learned about the story mode of Pictory and it's a dashboard. In the last video, we were talking about the branding portion of the dashboard. Here, you can see these are all your scenes created by the Pictory. In context of your script, it is so easy to change the video according to your likings. If everything is here, everything in one hand to edit everything. So here you can see your intro scene. And in the screen, you can see it is saying another day, another story, and you can place your logo here. So to change each scene, we will be going to the branding section. In the branding section, you can see you can change your logo position. Whether you want it in the corner, or in the middle of screen, or upper hand side, or lower end side. And you can also change logo size and opacity whether you want to. Opsitate your logo or no, and you can also change your intro text, which is right now saying another day, another story. But you can change it to whatever you want, and I'm here changing it. To welcome to Neon Tech, which is, of course, my channel's name. I can place it wherever I want. Next, you can also change the text color whether you want it to be colored blue, red or yellow etc. Whichever you want and also, you can change the background color and highlighted words color. These are two different things. You can also change its position by centralized it or keep the text in the right side of the video or left side of the video. You can also change its size. And you can also change its motion. And also the writing style of the text. Whatever you want to do. As you can see here, you can also change the timing of the scene. For example, you want to show your intro scene in the video for like 5 second or 6 second. Or whatever number. Or even 1 second. You can change it individually for every scene. This feature, believe me, is so cool. You're gonna like it. Next, we are talking about the logo in the scene. First, we have intro here. And last, we have outro scene. These are the two first and the last scenes of the video, but in the scene section, you can also place your logo. If you want your logo to be shown in the each scene of your video. For example, many people like to do that. So if you have your channel video, channel logo or anything, you like, you can place it. Next, we are going to edit our video's outro scene. Which you have to enable first. Because mine was disabled. So you have to enable it. Then you can change your outro visuals, just like the intro section. If you don't know how to do this, please watch the first part of the video. You can also upload the visual from your computer, or your own video and also, you can import visual from the visual library of Victory. To do both, you have the option and you can also place your logo here and logo size logo. Opacity and logo position just like the intro scene. And you can also change your outro scene text. It's all same. Just like the intro. Now, we are going to learn how to change or edit our main video. As you can see, some words are highlighted. These are the highlighted words by the artificial intelligence in your script. So that according to these specific words, you can have the visual scenes from the library. But all this work will be done by the artificial intelligence while it would create your storyboard. Okay. You can also change your highlighted words and according to these highlighted words, your scenes will be generated. If you want, you can change the scene duration here also, and if you like, you can apply it to all the scenes of your video, it will override the crunt timing of all the scenes to the one that you have specified. This is so great, you know. So, let's continue. We are going to take example of the scene 1 and 2. Both have highlighted words as you can see. So let's get back to the visual section and you can see the first thing. And the second scene, there were words highlighted like algorithms, linear regression, decision, trees, etc. So, according to these, we have the visuals here as you can see. If we click on algorithm, we are gonna see the visuals about algorithms, and so on. 
as you like. If you want to change in the visual, you can just click on it and you can also put it in your favorite section. And if you don't like it, you can move on to the next word and you can also write your own word. If you don't like the word, like the artificial intelligence highlighted in the scene, 3, the visuals are so great. I like it. Here you can also link your scenes. For example, if you want to link scene 1 and scene 2, you can just click on the link section. But doing so it will change the visual for both of the scenes and it will act as one scene. If you want to change the visual independently of each scene, you have to unlink it and you can change the visual of each scene. It's just like vice versa. Highlighted words and you can also see the scene and its writing so if you want to just say I want to put up an any symbol or element, you can just click on the element section and you can place the element on it and this specific element. You can also duplicate it and you can delete it. And you can rearrange it just like you want to do. And you can also place its position in the video section. This is all on your hand as just like you want to do. The elements action is just beneath the visuals and just above the audio section. So talking about audio in the audio section, you can change the volume of your background music and also your voiceover volume. Voiceover is the artificial intelligence voice given by the Pictory platform. Just to change the volume, you can head over to the volume section and you can increase or decrease the volume as you're liking and you can also change or apply the background music in this section. Let's say I want to apply music and it is already applied here. The music name is Tailgater. You can also change it and you can also delete it if you don't want the background music in use. So if you head back to the voiceover section, you can apply any sound of the background or different intelligence voice. This voice will be specifically for the storyboard, for example, for your script. Here you can see speed is normal languages English and you can see male voices and female voices. You can just apply the voice. Whichever you like, you can also listen the voice here, before applying and you can change the volume of your voiceover. You know, you can also upload your own voiceover or background music. For example, this is a platform and this may occur that you do not like any voiceover, or background music or on the other hand, you want to use your own voice and your own background music. You just had had back to the My Uploads. And you can upload your voiceover and your background music or whatever you like. And you can then change your volume for the background music and the voice. A over the volume and you can also just put it back to the zero. If you don't want to use the music volume, this music section volume section is just for you can say. According to your liking. In the story section. You can see in the setting. Your voiceover is on and your background music is also on. And next to that you can see there is a check mark saying, apply to all if you select the voiceover on and background music on. It will be just applied to the single scene dot and if you click on apply to all it will be applied to all of your sins and all of your video and background music will also be selected and this option is available for all of the visual and text options and audio sections. This feature is you know so very cool. You can individually select everything. Just like you want to do, you don't have to apply it to everything, and if you want to apply to everything, you do don't have just to do own a single single scene. Let's say in the scene, 5, you have the written text which will be shown in the video as you download it. So let's say you want to hide this text and you can just want to download your video. So there is an option in the settings section of the, the storyboard. Saying, hide text and you can turn it on. It will be just priority to the single scene. And if you want to apply to all, you just have to click on apply to all option. As you can see, the word text is removed and if you see below, you can see on the scene 6. And scene 7. You can see the text but on the scene 5 you don't see the text. So this is good. Let's say your video is completed. You have edited it just like you want and your logos and your voices and text pretty much everything. So you just want to preview your preview. Your video. Let's say how your video is made. So you just click on the preview button and you can see it is preparing your video preview and you can see the percentage when it's 100. 
your video preview will be available. So before downloading you can change your video by previewing if it has any error or anything. It will just tell you what the decision is not generated or this AI and edited sound. We cannot produce you can change it. Next step is you can download to download your video. You just have to click on the download section after view previewing and everything. So in the first step, it will process the audio and then it will generate the video. Okay, so you will have your video and download it and you can use it as you want. That would be all for today video part 2. If you liked the video, subscribe the channel and share the video. So many other people can learn from it. And please, stay tuned if you like more content like this. So don't forget to subscribe Neon Tech. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.